Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Crypto Slayer. I'm going to be talking about API 3. Now, before I, I begin my video on this token that no one's really talking about, I got to update you guys on ALBT. Um, we were actually at 62 cents. So, you know, when I was talking about this token on my channel, I think it was 45 cents. So, just letting you know, man, this token is connected to Quant. And I'm going to show you a token that's connected to Alliance Block. So these are all interconnected in some way. API 3 is is very undervalued and I think this token is NWO. I think this was this is one of the chosen ones. This has been audited by Quantstamp and on on top of that I want to show you guys um the the actual ether scan which lets you know how many people are holding this and it's only around close to, we're getting close to 15,000 people holding this token. And as you guys can see 14 minutes ago there's someone that looks like they bought Oh, uh, this might be an exchange, but still, I mean, they're adding a lot of these tokens. Like they're buying it up now. Now that the price has been increasing. I mean, just recently we've seen a price appreciation of 12% on the daily. So, I mean, it's no surprise. I mean, some of these are individual wallets. Some of them are exchange wallets. But it, you can go down here on the Ether Scan. You can check what people are doing if they're selling or buying for the most part. And this is as it relates to, um, you know, recently, more recently, um, in the past couple hours. Obviously, you can sc scroll on and on and go on many different pages and go back many hours, but it's you know it's just going to be very time consuming. So we're just going to talk about what's going on right now with this, uh, what this is doing in the Web 3.0. And if you guys don't know what the Web 3.0 is, basically an upgrade of the Internet 2.0. So the Internet 2.0 is what we're dealing with right now. This is YouTube. This is Facebook. This is Instagram. You know, you got Snapchat. You got all this other stuff. TikTok. That's Internet 2.0. Web 3.0 is how blockchain connects to, you know, the internet that we are experiencing right now. How, how those two come together, right? So, so how the internet value and the IoT, which is the internet of things, come to life. That's basically the Web 3.0, guys. Based on total control, but I'm not gonna get too weird about those things. I know some of you guys don't like conspiracies and stuff, but this is deeper than you guys think. This is darker than you guys think, right? Cryptocurrencies are obviously going to offer a lot of great benefits and incentives to people and society and everything at every level but it's also going to come at a price okay but with api3 um the, i think this token is just a great overall long-term value investment uh, because of many reasons right it's right now it's at this price i'm saying this is a very good long-term investment because of the price that it's at i don't know about it going to 15 20 dollars if you, if you should be buying it at those prices I would probably wait at a, for a correction, if anything. Uh, even then, I think it'd be undervalued when you compare it to other projects with same similar tokenomics. But at this price, you can't be API. You cannot be API and AOBT, which is Alliance Block. These two tokens are so undervalued, man. They're rocking between 70 to 100 million dollars in market cap, both of them respectively. So this one. Um, it's not going to be undervalued for any longer. I feel like in the coming months, it's definitely going to go back up to what its previous all-time high was of close to like anywhere around nine to ten dollars. It's going to go there and beyond. That's my own opinion, guys, though. This is not financial advice in any way. So please just do your own research. Just connect the dots. My research is just for you to basically uh, use it um, and maybe look at this token, consider researching it at least. You know, you don't have to just because I'm looking at this doesn't mean you should be buying it or anything. You know, this is just research um, the Web 3.0 API economy create trustless applications that interact with web apis connect smart contracts to real world data guys so api3 data feeds uh, d apis aggregate data from first party oracle so think like Chainlink, for example they deal with oracles as well operated by some of the world's premier api providers so here are the key features of api3 is that it's dao governed so that means that it's uh, offering more decentralization it's trust minimized and transparent governance that are distinguishable features of this blockchain. On top of that, data provider operated. So you're reducing and minimizing the third parties or the middlemen behind this blockchain and how it runs. And the way this is operating is also more secure than anything else because here's what's happening. Without third party node operators, API3 data feeds are never exposed to data tampering and denial of service attacks by middlemen. 
so no more DDoS attacks. This enables them to reach higher cost efficiency while having fewer attack sur surfaces. Source level decentralization of DAPIs is enabled by AirNode, a fully serverless Oracle node that can be deployed by any API provider for free and requires minimal day-to-day -day management. So this is very important, guys. They're putting safety and efficiency first um, as their priorities for this blockchain. So quantifiably secure, users insured against data feed malfunctions. This is also cross-platform, so real-world data for any smart contract platform. So this could be for Chainlink, for Cardano, and Ethereum, you know, you name it. Anything that deals with smart contracts like Matic. Um, there's a lot more, but here are the API3 partners. So they're partnered with Open Bank Project, Phantom. They got Alliance Block, which we've talked about in this channel recently. You got Polygon or Matic. Apparently, they're working on scaling Ethereum, but you also got the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, who are partnered up with API3, as well as Movify. You got Bridge, Curve Labs, Harmony. I think I think uh, you guys know know what that project is about as well. So it's very scalable. API3 investors include Pantera. You got Digital Currency Group, which is the more important one here. You got Solidity Ventures. Block Zero, Equilibrium, Hashed, Coin Fund. So the governance token of the API3 DAO, it says that API3 is a native token of the API3 project. API and 3 as in Web 3.0 or whatever, it gives its holders the right to take part in the governance of the API3 ecosystem through the API DAO to generate shares in the API3 DAO. Token holders have to stake the API3 tokens into the insurance pool, which also gives them access to weekly staking rewards. Wow, so these rewards are given weekly. You got annual rewards, or the APY is 53%. And there's currently 47,708,000 API3 in the insurance pool. So it, it looks like there's around half the supply already being staked. Because remember, the total supply of this is 100 million tokens. So um, it says there's like 13 million circulating, but I'm pretty sure the company behind this has a bunch that's just being locked up for staking purposes to secure the network to make it more um, you know, efficient. And also because you're staking your API3 tokens into the insurance staking pool, you take part in providing API3 users with quantifiable security. So this is just to secure that network in general. That's what staking allows for most blockchains and networks and guarantees in the form of insurance. The insurance staking pool funds are used to cover potential financial losses from DAPI malfunctions that the DAPI consumer might incur. As you stake API3 to the insurance pool, you generate shares in the API3 DAO. Keep in mind that the launch of the authoritative DAO makes API3 the first Web 3.0 Oracle project with DAO governance and permissionless staking available to any token holder. Through the DAO staking function, API3 token holders will not only be able to directly steer the direction of the API3 project, but also share in the DAO staking rewards, which are obviously delivered weekly, like we heard from their official website. But it will start at 47% APY. Now we are at 53% so it's been increasing and and it will dynamically adjust according to the total staked amount to meet the the staking collateral target set by the DAO which will be initially set at 50% of the total token supply the staking rewards will be locked for one year before being withdrawable but can be restaked during the lockup don't forget to go over their white paper it will give you more information about how staking works air nodes and features and stuff about the protocol and also just in general gives you an idea of how secure this is i mean this is fully decentralized you know it's permissionless and it's transparent so it's basically all the qualities that are needed for something like this to prosper in the web 3.0 now the digital currency group which is basically an investor of api3 says a lot about what kind of project this is it means that they believe in this long term. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be investing in this. Um, they're actually they're actually featuring this coin right here. Look, guys, if you go down here to the DCG.co, which is um, the website, I guess 
uh, behind the digital currency group where they they tell you pretty much what companies they're investing in api3 is one of the first companies or or block sheets that, that comes up and it comes up for decentralized apis for web 3.0 um, distributed right this is distributed ledger technology now i want to show you what kind of companies they believe in so it's not just api3 they actually have um, investments in circle and also in earn and apparently in, in the gift so mobile gift cards for bitcoin purchases also the lightning network um they got an investment in ripple because that's enabling the internet of value or the iov that's a big part of the internet 3.0 guys this is this is basically payments 2.0 so this is redefining the way payments are made the way transactions are handled in the financial system and you guys already know uh the head of the dcg or the digital currency group is barry silbert you guys know how much clout and influence he has in the crypto community now their mission is to accelerate the development of a better financial system and they are investing in ripple and api3 we build and support bitcoin and blockchain companies by leveraging our insights network and access to capital so they're telling you straight up what their goal is what their end game is for the new financial system a better financial system right build back better this is like how you level the playing field in general you just invest into the companies that are going to have the most impact in changing uh, the way everything's done right we're going to upgrade from internet 2.0 to internet 3.0 we're going to change everything completely this is a revamp this is like a replacement of, of what used to be uh, our, our what we used to know right now the thing about the internet 2.0 is that it gave us so many different um luxuries right like with the internet 2.0 we can view content from around the world instantly we can download stuff from netflix and watch it with our own devices we can stream stuff we can play video games online with players and the internet 2.0 allowed for social media mass communication between anyone around the world Be uh, facebook instagram think tiktok right you can send a message and it's free so when when a product is free you're the, you're the product right it, it's not that the product it's like it, it, it's not going to cost you anything so you're not going to pay anything to get on facebook because you're the product right they're they're selling your data to the highest bidder so this is why veracity exists this is why theta exists theta is basically the new twitch right they're bringing ip protection through the use of nfts um, to people and so that you own your own data right you can monetize your own data instead of companies monetizing your data and your personal info you get to do that you get to decide whether or not you want to make money off your own uh, demographic info whatever whatever it may be right so this is what the internet 3.0 is going to do right? it's going to bring a lot of benefits but it's also going to come with a lot of drawbacks just like the internet 2.0 with the internet 2.0 and the emergence of social media and just the internet in general like like you know safari like google and stuff like that you get access to all this wealth of information at the tip of your fingers but at the same time you're giving up so much of your privacy to be able to get onto these platforms and the same thing is going to happen with the internet 3.0 and the and the ability to be able to send money instantly cr through cross-border transactions and it's not going to cost you anything right it's going to be way cheaper and instantaneous but at what cost what is the price of that and the price of that is is basically the fact that there's going to be no more privacy it's just going to be everything's going to be public on the ledger so that's how i make my investment decisions i just look at the agendas behind certain things and i look at the right coins that are going to be falling in line with that and then some of those coins include you know xrp xdc xlm hbar quant you get the deal you guys know what i mean i want to give you an idea real quick before i end this video about, about how api3 is so undervalued that eos which is a token has been around for a while now it's a four billion market cap coin it has 955 million tokens in the circulating supply the total supply of eos is 1 billion which is 10 times that of api3 and they're around the same price so eos is is getting close to five dollars again it went up to as high as 15 bucks in the recent all cycle uh in may but api3 guys it's, it's like it's like around that price range so now it's five bucks finally now that i refreshed it but look 
the the circling supply of this is 13 million there's a lot that's that's going to be locked up for a year and it's going to be staked at like 50 percent apy or something crazy like that but in general you can count on there only being a hundred million total tokens which is still 10 times less than eos this is also 10 times less than uh, their biggest competitor which is supposed to be Chainlink, because they deal with oracles and apis as well but Chainlink is basically like kind of outdated when you compare that to api3 in terms of technology and the protocol so you know if you want to basically buy it, it chain link but with way better tokenomics and much better scalability much better connections you know you're, you're looking at api3 no not financial advice this is just my own opinion hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like comment on it if you have suggestions for future uploads subscribe to the channel this has been crypto slayer i'll see y'all later peace out